Alrighty, I thought tonight that uh, I would make a a southern yeah something that southern people like to eat. Put it that way. I'm gonna make tater cakes, potato cakes, potato cakes, whatever. Usually I just use a little half of an onion, but I found this one in my bin. Look how little he is. Get that off there. Little bitty feller. What I'm gonna do is cut him up. Just like that. And I got me one of these fancy deals here. Where'd it go? Here it is, over here. One of these little choppers. I'm gonna stick, I don't know, I don't think I'll be too much. Let's just stick three quarters of them in there. I'll save him for later for something else. All right. Now you get this little fancy deal, and you stick it on top. Just like that. You see that? And you just chop the shit while I'm out of them up. Just mince them up. Little bitty pieces. You don't want big ass pieces. Something just fell. Yeah, I got a messy kitchen. I laid the maid off this week. <laughs> anyway, just mash the shit from out of them onions. Mince them up, little bitty fellas. You don't want big pieces of onion in your tater cakes. See what that looks like. Shit coming to pieces, as JB would say, you non-union working mother. JB cracks me up. Non-union this and non-union that. Fresh out the can and fresh out the bag. All right. That looks pretty good. Shake him off. All right. I've got two cups of uh, mashed potatoes here, leftovers. You want about two cups, but uh, three quarters of a small onion. Dump him in there. That's pretty good. That's enough. All right, let's get our hands a little dirty. I just washed my hands. Everything's all good in the hood. All right, what we're going to do, we're going to bust us up one egg. That's right, I can, I can crack one egg with one hand. Gargoire and everybody else. Get that in there. Mm. Work it up. I don't know if the camera can see it or not, but just work that egg and them onions in there. Now, get you some garlic salt. Let's see, you guys see that? Garlic salt. Put about a good, I don't know, tablespoon. Get him in there so you can taste it. Oh, that's good. Might be too much. Work it up. Get them hands in there. Cooking for myself, so shit. If I find a hair in it, it's mine, right? Now, per two cups, that was two cups of, of mashed potatoes, and you only use about a half a cup. That's a cup, about half full of flour. We'll hold everything together and I'll get in there and mix him up real good you can add your pepper or whatever you want to do but this is pretty much it so let me get this mixed up and I'll put him in a pan in a minute and I'll get right back all right everything's uh er things all minted together there that's what you kind of want to see something like this kind of thick doughy sort of but not real doughy i added just a little bit more flour because it wasn't sticking together the way i wanted so what i'm going to do is make a few patties out here just like hamburger patties or whatever pat them together uh, i've seen some people try to do it with spoons and whatever they're, they're afraid to get their damn hands dirty stick her on there let's make about I don't know three or four of them I can't turn the camera off now because both my hands are plumb dirty or this dirty food hope I can get them off that cutting board <laughs> if I can oh well Taylor caking down here in the south Uncle JB never cooked any tater cakes. 
How about you, old paper cuts? Paper cuts 777. You ever cooked any tater cakes? Let's do three right now. Let me wash my hands off real quick. So right now, what I'm going to do, where's it at? Uh, here it is. I want to add a little bit of pepper. A little bit of pepper. A little bit of pepper. It's like, whoa, it's a lot of pepper. Now, if I can get this camera to come with me, this cam or this uh, tripod is also non-union. <laughs> Sit him about right there. This pan's already pretty hot. Still water in my hands, so I'm gonna test it out. Not hot enough. All right, so I'm gonna grab one. Oh, it came off really easy. Nah, no, it's not hot enough. Turn it up. I'm gonna stick those three in there. Ooh, them gonna be good. I tell you. What's old J. Bob say? Look good, smell good, gonna be good. Alrighty, I got three of them in that pan. This will take a few minutes. <clears throat> I've decided to do something a little bit different tonight. If I can, it may be a c catastrophe, but we're gonna go try to do some. Uh, it is one o'clock in the morning. Like I said, the maid's off this week. <laughs> That's why I got a dirty ass kitchen. Dishes everywhere. But anyway, hang on one second and I'll get right back to you. All right, I'm outside the house. It's one o'clock in the morning and I thought I'd do a little, can you see this? Ruger 22 shooting. Right outside, right there at the spotlight you see is a you probably can't see. Let me zoom out in a little bit. How's the zoom work on this non-union camcorder? Whoa, wait a minute. There goes the tripod falling to pieces on me again. Man can't make a video because of the damn tripod. Ain't that a bitch? Hang on. Oh shit, I need that light to see. I guess this is going to be what you call one, one of them unique videos. I got the Taylor cakes in there frying. They're going to be a few minutes, so I want to just try this out. You see, oh, there you see that red dot? That's the top of a, right there is the top of a peanut butter plastic jug. I'll pick that some bitch up out of the yard tomorrow. But we're going to shoot that some bitch right now at one o'clock in the morning. I ain't promising I can hit it. I can't, I can't keep a light on it. Oh, yeah. Oh, I got him. Hang on. Look at there. Red cap's gone. There he lays. Oh, there's a red cap. Let's, let's just tear it up. I don't think that camcorder's picking it up. That damn little jug or peanut butter thing there is jumping all over the place. All right. Where the hell am I at? There's the red cap. Blue plum off of the jar there. It's plastic. I'll pick it up tomorrow. <laughs> One o'clock in the morning shooting in the country. You got to love it. Like I said in my other videos, I got one neighbor. He don't give a shit what I do. He's he's a gun shooter too. Let's go check on our tatter cakes. Alrighty, we back in from the shooting episode. My camcorder has some kind of fit on me. It wouldn't focus in. I guess the gun scared it, I don't know. But I put three more in the pan here. And I've done pulled those other three out. Mm. Of course, I had a taste test this in right here, you know. Tell you what, guys, if you ain't ever tried Taylor Cakes, you need to get your ass in the kitchen. Make you some mashed potatoes. And then just do what I said earlier in the video. You won't regret it. 
You just need to pay some attention. <laughs> Paper cuts. Anyway, guys, take it easy. Thanks for watching this. Let's see. One, one now it's 1 30. 1 30 in the morning. Cooking and uh, shooting guns. Peace out. See ya. All right, I just flipped those last three I put in there. What you're looking for is that nice golden brown where it's kind of hard on each side. And the potatoes are already cooked. Uh, these, I was outside shooting. They got a little bit dark on me on one side. See that one right there? He's still going to be real good. But he's a little bit dark. These three over here, I've been paying attention to. These three here are going to be really good. So I just wanted to end the video saying that uh, that's what you want to see. That golden brown, you don't really want to see the black. You want to go outside at 1 in the morning and do some shooting while you're cooking. But anyway, thanks again, guys. See you.